Listen up, I've got 10,000 USDT that needs to be exchanged for fiat and sent to my investment checking. I've got 25 Ether that needs to be cashed out to my PayPal. I've got 5,000 USDC that needs to be USDT by lunch. Now you need to go to accounting and tell Jerry owes me 100 bucks. You got all that? Cool. What a first day. Has this ever happened to you? Probably not. But if you've ever wondered how you can quickly sell crypto and cash out via RTM, Alipay, Apple Pay, or even regular old cash, stick around. Hi, I'm Brandon. Today I'm going to walk you through step by step how to sell crypto via peer to peer trading on Bybit. P2P stands for peer to peer. P2P trading is simply peer to peer transactions between individuals. Bybit acts as the currency marketplace, similar to how eBay and Amazon act as a marketplace for individuals selling products. It allows people to exchange their crypto for their desired fiat currency and vice versa without the fees of a for-profit intermediary. When you're buying or selling crypto via P2P trading, Bybit acts as a neutral third party, ensuring that both sides of the transaction are protected and everybody receives their funds. P2P trading is perfect for users who wish to minimize conversion fees and receive payouts from crypto in the exact currency and to the exact place they want. It offers the flexibility of trading crypto for over 50 different fiat currencies, hanging out to over 400 banks and payment methods. Now it's time to sell our very first cryptocurrencies via peer-to-peer -peer trading. Head on over to Bybit.com and under the top navigation panel, under Buy Crypto, we can select P2P Trading. This will take us to the peer-to-peer -peer trading homepage. Very first thing we want to do is, since we're trying to sell some crypto today, select Sell right next to Buy. It's going to start on Buy. We want to sell some USDT. So we can select that. It's already selected for us. But if we wanted to sell some Bitcoin, Ether, or USDC, we can select that right through here. And it'll show us all the advertisers that are currently buying. Next, we want to determine which type of fiat we'd like to receive for our USDT payment. So let's go ahead and scroll down. And I think I'm going to want to receive some USD today. It's a simple transaction, simple conversion. And then we want to select which type of payment method we want to receive our fiat through. So I'm gonna take mine via bank transfer or RTM today. This we have a choice of advertisers and now we can make our decision. Now that we've got a full list of buyers who are willing to offer us USD fiat for our USDT via bank transfer or RTM, it's time to choose a buyer. Now there are a few steps I like to take. The first thing I like to do is look at the price. I want the most USD for my USDT. So we can scroll down here on the price column and see that a few are offering a dollar, but most are offering between 98 and 99 cents. So any of those three work with me. I'm a little bit flexible on that. Then we go to the limits column. This is gonna be right to the right of that. We can see the amount of USDT available from the buyer. We can also see the limits per transaction. So we're gonna scroll down a little bit until we find somebody that fits within our order amount. My order amount for today is going to be 25 USDT. So it looks like we've got a few options now. We've got this person, this person, and this person. Finally, I like to see if the buyer is online or recently active. Looks like we've got one buyer eye online right through here. We've got two more that are recently active nine hours and 10 hours ago. We scroll up here, active more than one month ago. They might not be as reactive to our order. So I like to focus on these three right through here now. And for limits of five to $800, 99 cents per USDT. And currently online, I'm gonna go with this buyer right here. We're gonna click on sell USDT. Now we type in the amount of USDT we're looking to sell. We're gonna sell 25, I'll receive 24.75 for it. And then we click on add a payment method because I haven't done this just yet. This is where you add something like your RTM email address or your bank transfer details. So I'm gonna do that right now. We're gonna click add now. Under payment method, I'm gonna add my RTM. So let's scroll down to RTM. I'm gonna type in my details and be right back. Now that I've added my RTM details, I can select RTM and then click sell. This will bring me to the pending payment page. The buyer now has 15 minutes to complete the payment, which is why I prefer to select a buyer who's currently online if possible. If they're not online, that's all right too. They'll receive a notification. You can see the chat box, which allows me to send a message to the buyer if I have any question. Once I've seen that the payment has been received on my end, I can release the USDT to the buyer by clicking release now. It'll ask me to confirm with my six digit authentication code. I'll do that now. And the transaction is complete. I have now successfully sold my 25 USDT 
for 24.75 USD sent to my RTM account. If anything happens to go awry during the transaction, I can click submit appeal and a member of the customer service team will reach out and can even enter the chat box to resolve the issue. And if the buyer doesn't send the fiat within the allotted 15 minutes, the USDT will automatically be returned to my account. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you learned something new, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new tutorials. See you next time.